And this part will continue to learn road freight transportation and cargo container system. Road freight, part of land freight, is one of the most commonly used freight transport modes and is also one of the most handled ones. As known as road transport or road haulage, road freight essential refers to transport of cargo through roadways. It is also one of the classic forms of logistics in the world and the most common options of transport globally. Road freight is also used in combination with air and sea freight modes so as to facilitate door-to-door -door delivery if and when required. The road transport is particularly suitable for carrying goods which are very cheap, heavy, and bulky, for transporting goods of perishable nature such as vegetables, fruits, eggs, milk, for carrying goods over short distance, for transporting dedicated goods such as chinaware or glassware, for forests, hilly and rural areas where the other modern modes of transport are not available. According to the nature of the transport object, road freight transportation can be divided into general cargo transportation, special cargo transportation, large orbit transportation, and dangerous cargo transportation. Road freight can be categorized into LTL and FTL according to the quality of the consumers. The first question is, what is LTL? Less than truckload of freight shipping is used for transportation of small freight or when freight does not require the use of an entire trailer. When shipping LTL, the shippers pays for the portion of a standard truck trailer their freight occupies, while other shippers and their shipments fill the unoccupied space. There are a number of benefits to shipping via LTL. There are several advantages of LTL, freight shipping. First one is shipping less than truck load is cost effective. More security for your packed product as they are loaded onto pallets. You gain access to additional special services such as lift skates and cider pickup and delivery. Less than truck load carriers offer tracking capabilities through the bell of lading numbers, PRO number, PO number, shipment reference, and other details. The second question is what is FTL? Full truck load is a type of shipping mode where a truck carries one dedicated shipment from one point to another. In an FTL shipment, the journey is dedicatedly to one specific transaction without any other details. FTL also has its own advantages. Best way to transport large shipments. Food truck loads are much faster than consolidated or LTL shipment. No other pickups or drop-offs. Less handling, transfer between trucks during mid-transit. Shipment stays in the same mode of transport throughout the whole journey. The shipment is less likely to be lost or damaged as it has a dedicated truck and driver handler. 
Trailer transportation is also called the train transportation of automobiles. It is a form of automobile transportation organization. A car train is a car transportation unit composed of a truck, a tractor, a car combined with more than one trailer. According to different combinations, car trains can be divided into a trailer train composed of combination of one or more trailers connected by the tall bar of a vehicle, as shown in Figure A. A semi-trailer car train composed of a semi-trailer tracker and a semi-trailer, as shown in Figure B. Double trailer train composed of a semi-trailer tractor, a semi-trailer, and a full trailer, as shown in Figure C. A single piece loads are added to bridge platforms of tractors of the trailers and connect the vehicles through the load itself, as it is shown in Figure D. The trailer transportation has advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are increases the mass of each load of automobile and improve the overall productivity of the vehicle. However, trailer transportation also has its disadvantages. It causes the increase of the technical speed of the car train and extension of the stop time of the loading and unloading operation, which increases the driver's difficulty in handling. Trailer transport has three organizational forms. The first form is fixed trailer. It refers to a fixed trailer organization form in which the car and the full trailer are generally not separated after the completion of the operation and loading and unloading of the car train. The second form is the job and the trail transportation. It refers to the organization form of towed transport that continues to operate after the truck or tractor has dropped the trailer at a certain loading and uploading operation site and hung up a designated trailer according to the predetermined plan. The last form is sectional transportation. It is organizational form of towed transportation by each driver or tractor driving continuously in sections.
The last section of this chapter is cargo container system. A container looks like a truck trailer with no wheels and is now among the most common freight shipping methods at home and abroad. Containers are used for intermodal shipping and come in standard size to ensure they fit on standard truck, rail cars, and container ships. The cargo container transport are mainly by shipping, highway, railway, and air. First, let us introduce shipping container transportation. Container ships are cargo ships that carry all of their load in truck-sized intermodal containers, in technical called containerization. They are a common means of commercial intermodal freight transport and own carry, most sea-going, no buckle cargo. Container terminal is a facility where cargo containers are transshipped between different transport vehicles. For onward transportation, the transshipment may be between container ships and land vehicles. Alternatively, the transshipment may be between land vehicles, typically between tree and trucks. In which cases, the terminals is described as an inland container port. The second one is highway container transportation. Automobile transportation is the first and last link in the container intermodal logistics system. Its role is concentrated in the following aspects. Cooperate with railway department to undertake the distribution and transportation of containers between the railway container operation freight station and the cargo main warehouse. Cooperate with water transport department to undertake container transportation between the port terminal and the cargo main warehouse to undertake direct transportation of containers on highways between cities within a certain distance. To undertake inland extension and transit transportation of containers between the port station and the container transfer station or between the container transfer station and the cargo main warehouse. The third one is rail container transportation. There are four main ways of organizing railway container transportation. Regular container, direct trains, special container trains, general price freight trains, and ordinary freight trains. The last one is air container transportation. Air container, a solid vessel, Comprised of a storage unit, aircraft restraint connectors, and a flat bottom. The container must be compatible with aircraft cargo handling system and requirements in order to be used for air freight transportation. In addition, there are container land bridge transportation. Land bridge transportation refers to a form of multimodal intermodal transportation that uses the transcontinental railway and road transportation system to connect the sea with the sea and follow the sea land sea transport route. Container land bridge transportation can have two modes. North American Land Bridge and Euro-Asian Land Bridge. Please see the picture. The picture is the route of Euro-Asian Land Bridge. The first Euro-Asian Land Bridge, the 13,000 kilometers route from Eastern Russia to the Rotterdam. The second 10,900 kilometers route 
from Lian Yingang in Jiangsu Province to Rotterdam. The third Euro-Asian land bridge, the 15,000 km road from Shenzhen to Rotterdam, a bridge line starting from Turkey and ending in Egypt. Okay, that's all for today's class. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.